The Vuishard Recovery Aviation Safety Foundation has a very important message to all helicopter pilots worldwide. How to avoid a collision of the main rotor with obstacles. Many main rotor collisions with obstacles occur because pilots misjudge the effective rotor radius. Frequently, serious accidents occur due to collisions between the main rotor and obstacles caused by a misjudgment of the actual rotor radius. You will see now how you can prevent these accidents. The perception of the rotor radius from the pilot's seat or co-pilot seat does not correspond to reality since the crew station is not under the rotor mast. In this example, the difference between real rotor radius and the perceived rotor radius is enormous. Note that the misjudgment of the rotor radius depends on the helicopter type and thus on the distance of the crew station to the rotor mast. With the R-22, the perceived distance between the pilot's eye point and the tip of the rotor blade in front is only 3.4 meter, roughly 0.4 meters smaller than the rotor radius, while at the front, the perceived position of the tip of the rotor blade corresponds to reality. From the side, the perception of a smaller rotor leads to an underestimation of the distance. The real distance from the pilot's eye point to the tip of the blade is 1.25 times larger on the right and 1.4 times larger on the left. With the H125, the perceived distance between the pilot's eye point and the tip of the rotor blade in front is only 3.4 meters, roughly 2 meters smaller than the rotor radius. While at the front, the perceived position of the tip of the rotor blade corresponds to reality, from the side, the perception of a smaller rotor leads to an underestimation of the distance. The real distance from the pilot's eye point to the tip of the blade is 1.5 times larger on the right and 1.8 times larger on the left. With the AW139, the perceived distance between the pilot's eye point and the tip of the rotor blade in front is only 4.7 meters, roughly 3 meters smaller than the rotor radius. While at the front, the perceived position of the tip of the rotor blade corresponds to reality, from the side, the perception of a smaller rotor leads to an underestimation of the distance. The real distance from the pilot's eye point to the tip of the blade is 1.45 times larger on the right and 1.7 times larger on the left. Vuishard Safety Tips How to Avoid a Collision of the Main Rotor with Obstacles Caution. Depending on the type of helicopter, the distance can be more than twice as great as the perceived distance between the pilot's eyes and the front tip of the blade, especially on the opposite side. Caution. The greater the distance between the rotor mast and the pilot's eye point, and the smaller the rotor radius, the greater the risk of the main rotor colliding with a lateral obstacle, especially on the side opposite the pilot. Fuel stations are typical traps for helicopter pilots. Never land or taxi sidewards close to a fuel station without clear markings for helicopters from the airport authority. Airport authorities should post markings for helicopters at the fuel stations, indicating the maximum rotor diameter allowed. If possible, approach obstacles with the nose of the helicopter and not sideways to avoid hitting an obstacle on the right or left side with the main rotor. Whenever possible, land a helicopter in the fall line and never on the side of the slope. Have a qualified marshaller show you the tip of the rotor. This will make you aware of this optical illusion so that you can recognize how far your tip is to the right, how close to the front, and how far to the left and help you avoid collisions of the main rotor with obstacles. Have always a qualified marshaller with radio contact for guidance for all operations close to obstacles.
caution. If you are flying as an instructor or co-pilot, the optical illusion on the opposite side is greater. Special thanks to Loft Dynamics for supporting this video and their efforts to make helicopter flying safer. Thanks also to Mountain Flyers and Centorium Aviation for their support. Be aware of your rotor dimensions and fly safely.